To be able to seek the Lord and tell the Lord the things that we have need of, the things that we desire, the things that are troubling us, the things that have gotten us bound, the things that have put us in a position that we feel like there's no way out. Amen. Our lifestyle, our will, our desires that are without God. You know, so whatever the case, friends, family, whatever the case may be, Jesus Christ is the burden bearer. His purpose today and his purpose over 2,000 years ago when he rose from the dead was to set us free. Hallelujah to God. We've been set free if you accept it. I've been set free. You've been set free if you accept what Jesus Christ has done for you. Amen? Amen. The word of God teaches us to come unto me, all ye that labor. Are you laboring today? Amen. Are you laboring today? Are you carrying a cross that you shouldn't have to carry? Amen. God, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Are you carrying a burden that you shouldn't have to carry? Because, see, the word of God teaches us to cast all our cares upon him, for he cares for us. Amen? Amen. Amen. So therefore, there's no need for me to have to be concerned about what's going on in this world and what's going on around me because Jesus Christ has already died and suffered for my need. Amen. The word of God says, and my God shall supply all of my need according to his riches in glory Amen. by Christ Jesus. Amen. You got to know that today. You got to know where your help comes from today. You've got to know and accept who Jesus Christ Thank is, you, Jesus. that you will be able to endure through the hardness that's coming. Amen. You've got to be able to accept and to know who Jesus Christ is today so that whatever goes on, whatever your ears are hearing that are ungodly, you will be able to know that Jesus died for me. For this cause, I don't have to go through this. And for this cause, I don't have to take this kind of turmoil. I don't have to go through certain things. For this cause, the Father has already suffered and died for me. Amen. All I have to do is just say yes to his will. Amen. All I have to do is surrender all to him. All I have to do is just come to him, repent, and ask him to forgive me, save me, Lord Amen. God, take care of me, so therefore I know how to do the will of the Father. Amen. Amen. Amen? Now, I'm not saying that because salvation is not a selfish thing, okay? Salvation is open to everybody. And once we give ourselves to the Lord, we have just became open to everybody. Amen. We become like an open book. So when suffering comes, Jesus said for us to think it not strange when the fiery dots come to try you because, see, they're coming to try you because of your confession. They're coming to try you because of what's in your heart, what's beginning to ring in your heart and come out of your mouth. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you have to understand, anytime you begin to call on the name of Jesus, anytime you begin to make a turn and begin to do that about faith and walk toward righteousness, you have to understand the devil is busy. You have to understand but that Jesus has already died for whatever is up ahead for you that's trying to hinder you. Amen. You've got to understand, you've got to know, and you've got to accept the things that are going on around you because Jesus has already overcome and he has made us overcomers. We are conquerors. We are more than conquerors. We have the victory in everything that we have to go through. Amen. If we accept Christ Jesus, if we accept the blood of Jesus, if we accept what the Lord has done for us, because, see, that thing is sealed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. When Jesus rose up with that all power, it was sealed in heaven and in the earth and underneath the earth. Amen. That means that the devil in hell can't touch nothing Jesus did. Amen. He can't stop what Jesus already has done. Amen. And that same, and that same gospel, that same spirit, that same blood, that same word of God is effective today. Amen. Jesus Christ Thank the same Jesus. yesterday, today, and forever. I don't care what generation you're in. Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. He's Lord of all. Amen. He's Amen. Lord of all and everything. Amen. 
I don't care what generation we God has allowed us to step into, the word of God remains the same. Yes, amen. Thank amen. You, Jesus. So I tell you, God has God got this thing under control, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. He says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Learn of me. Find out who I am. Think about me. Meditate on me. Study my word. Pray and talk to me. Open up your heart to me that I'll know. Because, see, I already know, but you need to open up to me and talk to me. Tell me, tell me about you. Yet I already know about you, but tell me about you. Because, see, when you begin to tell me about you, I know that you know what I know about you, says the Lord. Amen. So, see, therefore, there's nothing we can hide from the Lord. There's nothing we can do in the dark that God didn't already see. Amen. And I can tell you this already, too. He already saw it before you done it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah Thank to you, God. Jesus. Thank so you, it Jesus. ain't no secret. It ain't no big secret. Mankind might have not have saw you because you were behind closed doors or because you were behind shut windows or you was in a sealed, concealed place. But guess what? The Almighty himself Amen. saw you. Amen. He knew your heart before you even yes. committed Thank whatever you. act or whatever sin or whatever wrongdoing, however you want to categorize it, God already Amen. saw. Amen. Thank you, what Jesus. a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, For Jesus. this day, Jesus rose from the dead that we might be set free. This day, Amen, Amen is the day the Bible says, today when you hear my voice, harden not your heart. And it says also, don't be like the children of Israel now, where they harden their heart and they didn't want to hear God's word. When you hear the Lord calling on you, when you hear the Lord knocking at the heart of your, the door of your heart, answer him. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you now, he ain't going to let up till you give him an answer. Amen. <laughs> he ain't going to let up until you give him an answer. And you're wondering, sometimes you wonder, why is all these things happening to me? Why does it always seem like my way is so hard? Well, let me give you a little hint. Have you asked Jesus? Amen. Have you tried Jesus? All right. Hey, God. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you, Jesus. Have you tried his ways? Have you sought him to the point to find out, to figure out what's going on? God, what is it are you trying to tell me? What is it do you want me to know, Father God, that I may be able to be delivered from this thing? You may be able to walk me on through something that I've been trying to struggle through all my life now. You may be able to take me through something that I've been dancing around in and tiptoeing through and thinking that thing was behind me, but it's still right there in front of me. God, I love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God, I love you, Jesus. Thank For you. this cause, Jesus rose from the dead. For this cause, you need to say yourself, for me, Jesus rose from the dead. For me, for me and for me to be redeemed and freed from my sins. For this cause, Jesus rose from the dead. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Because see, Jesus Christ, his, his victory was not in vain. His rising from the dead was not in vain. It was for a purpose. Amen. Amen. See, we hear the stories and the old cliche and everything, and we put it right back on that cross when we leave out of the house of prayer. Because, see, I don't want a little bit of that now. I don't want to do that right now. Well, I got to get myself together. I got to get myself cleaned up, and I got to do this, and I got to do that. Well, if you do all what you're going to do, what is God going to do? All right. Amen. All right. What is God going to do if you're going to do everything? What do you need him for if you going to do everything? Amen. And guess what? Let me share this with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When we hear the truth, when we hear the word of God, we're held accountable for what we yes, hear. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Amen. Amen. God's holding us accountable for the word of God. Mm -hmm. Just like he holds the families accountable for the rear of the children, he's holding us accountable That's for right. what we hear. Amen. Amen. And then when we hear the word of God and we take heed not to the word of God, you ever wonder why so much stuff seems like it gets worse? All right. <laughs> Think Amen. about it. It gets worse. It don't get no better. You might feel good for a moment. Your flesh might get a little comfortable and say, oh, that word felt good today. 
But see, that word is still hovering over you to minister to you. Because see, one thing about it, the word of God teaches us that you can't do nothing against the truth but for the truth. When you hear that word of God, that word latches on to you. That word will hold on to you just like this. No matter where you go, it's holding on to you. Because you have to give that word an answer. That word is waiting on a response. The Almighty God is waiting on a response from you. And see, be mindful of this. When I say a response, it don't have to be verbal. Because see, I'm a heart speak, whether I'm a mouth open or not. God reads the heart of an individual. That's why they got nothing to do with the outward man. It's the heart that God reads. That's why David said, Thy word am I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against thee. See, when the word of God is in our hearts and those other words have been kicked out, God can understand. God knows what's going on on the inside of here. And he can begin to tell us what's going on on the inside of there as it pleases him. So therefore, when we get the word of God and put it in our heart, God got something to work with. Amen. He's all right. God's got something to work Amen. with. Amen. But if we don't ever give God anything to work with, then we're going to be still out there struggling, still out there trying to figure out why things are so hard for me. Well, things are hard because you don't want to do what Christ Jesus has told you to do. Amen. Some of us in here already know the call that God has given us. Some of us know the word, the last word that I've heard from God. But yet I'm giving you the word, there is no struggle. Amen? Because see, one thing about it, he's faithful to his word. Amen. And he hastens to perform his word. Amen. So therefore, his word don't need our assistance even then. Amen. Once he gives us the word of God, we are to, yes, Lord. Amen. The only thing we can do for God is say, yes, Lord. Amen. We can't clean ourselves up. We can't change our ways. We can't put on no new look on this outward man. You can't do none of that for God. None of us can. No. But if we obey the word of God, God will come into our hearts and into our minds. And all these troubles, all these things will begin to lessen and fall Amen. off. All of this oldness that's on me, that's hanging on to me, begins to shed off of me. Because God is beginning to create me as a new creature. Hallelujah Thank to God. You, Jesus. Thank you. The word of God says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creature. Amen. He said, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Only Christ Jesus, only Christ Jesus can take the past, path of a man, and when I say man, I mean woman also, and wipe it clean. Amen. Mankind may know you and hold it against you to the day they die. But when we repent and ask God to forgive us and come into our lives and abide by his truth and obey his word, and when we fall and stumble, repent quickly and say, Lord, help me. I'm continuing to fall, but I need your help, Lord God. He's faithful, I'm telling you, to his word. He's faithful because, see, when he rose from the dead, even though Jesus is sitting at the right hand of the Father, the right now, Making intercession for us. Amen. He's still telling God, God, that one belongs to me. Amen. He's already seen through the generations. That's why he did not despise the agony of the cross. But he saw the joy beyond the cross. Because he saw me. He saw you. He saw your children. He saw your children's children. He already has seen every generation to come. And he already knows who's going to serve him in those generations. Isn't that something? Yes, thank you, Jesus. We are blessed people to be able to call on the name of Jesus. Amen. But we're even more blessed when we'll be able to obey and take the word of God and hide it in our hearts and do as God has told us to do. Let him.